Fishing in Fort Lauderdale has got a lot going for it. With huge fish right in town and very deep waters that are easily accessible, it's a pretty incredible location nice, even for Florida standards. Yeah, On top of that, the action is excellent year round, the nature is striking, and there's a huge variety of fish that you can catch. In this video, we'll get into the top species in Fort Lauderdale's diverse waters, where to catch them, and when to plan your trip. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Fort Lauderdale sits on a maze of canals, most of which are filled with fish. So many, in fact, that they call it the Venice of America. This is thanks in large part to the Intracoastal Waterway, a 3,000 mile inland channel that feeds right into the city. If you're staying in a house that sits on the canal, it's as easy as dipping your rod into the waters right off of your dock. Or you can head out with some of the many captains in the area with specially equipped inshore boats ready to take you out. Heading out with a professional is a great idea, especially because the canals are home to some pretty big fish. First on the list are iconic peacock bass. Although they were initially brought in to stave off invasive fish, they've become a firm and colorful favorite for visiting and local anglers alike. They like their waters nice and warm, so if you're fishing in the winter, set your sights on largemouth bass instead. Both of these species can be found in Fort Lauderdale's less salty canals, whereas big names like tarpon, snook, and redfish can be found in saltier waters depending on the time of year. We'll get more into that later in the video. If you're looking to branch out of the canals or the season isn't quite right for the fish you want to catch, Fort Lauderdale offers a host of additional inshore opportunities. During the summer high season, huge piles of tarpon growing up to 200 pounds roll into the shallow waters along the intracoastal waterway. The warmer months also give you your best shot at trophy snook as they crowd the beaches to spawn. Slightly further out, Fort Lauderdale's popular shallow reef is stocked with delicious snapper varieties including mangrove, mutton, and yellowtail. And luckily for you, it's located just a mile from Port Everglades, meaning it won't be long before you're casting into it for keeper fish. If you're timing it just right, you can also hook larger species like kingfish and bonito. This reef is an especially popular fishing spot for Fort Lauderdale party boats. If you're on a budget and looking to take home some catch and cook fish, this is one of your best opportunities to get out there and experience success. If you've got the means to travel out even further, there's more to look forward to. Fort Lauderdale is home to over 100 reefs and wrecks and the waters get deep fast. Just six miles from shore, the seafloor plummets to 800 feet and the further out you go, the deeper it gets. This is where you're gonna hook into red snapper, a variety of groupers, amberjacks, and sharks. What exactly you can catch and which fish are around will depend on the time of year, so be sure to keep watching for more on that. If you're heading to Fort Lauderdale to get your fill of deep sea fishing, you aren't the only one. It's arguably the most popular type of fishing here, and there's good reason for that. The Gulf Stream runs straight past its shores just 10 miles out and brings some big fish with it. It's hard to choose where to start with so many epic species on offer, but kicking it off with sailfish feels right. These fish bring it all. From their show-stopping sails to their acrobatic jumps and the incredible sizes they can reach, it's no wonder they're a firm favorite among Fort Lauderdale anglers. In the height of summer, you can also try to go after marlin and even swordfish from late summer through the fall. But if a fish that's good to eat is on your bucket list, look no further than tuna. Casting for blackfin tuna is nothing short of fantastic in Fort Lauderdale. These fish can reach up to around 40 pounds, but don't let that number fool you. Their brute strength provides some of the best fights out there, not to mention a great meal at the end of the day. And speaking of fish that are good to eat, mahi-mahi are another excellent year-round target in Fort Lauderdale. They're hungriest in the spring and fall, so plan your trip around these dates if you're set on hooking one. Last but certainly not least are wahoo. They're almost as fast as sailfish, and trolling is the name of the game if you want to hook one. This species can be very elusive thanks to its excellent eyesight and agility. To make things easier on yourself, plan your time around full moons in the summer months. There's clearly a lot to experience in Fort Lauderdale's deep waters. Even though travel times are short compared to other destinations, a full day trip and a well-equipped boat are still your best bet if you want to target a variety of fish or spend some additional time fishing the reefs. With that, you're probably wondering when you should plan your trip. Open seasons in Florida are subject to change, sometimes multiple times a year. So take what you hear next with a grain of salt and make sure you're checking with your captain or the FWC before you head out with a specific target in mind. That said, let's get into seasonality in open seasons for some of the top catches in Fort Lauderdale's waters. 
If you're inshore fishing for tarpon, peak season takes place between April and June and provides the best opportunity to battle bigger fish. In the winter months, you'll find smaller tarpon within the canals. Just remember, these fish are strictly catch and release in Florida throughout the entire year. As for snook, there are a few closed seasons to keep in mind, namely one during the summer and one in the winter months. Exact dates are subject to change on a yearly basis, so be sure you're staying up to date. If you do catch one during these periods, make sure you're releasing the fish back into the water. Red snapper are some of the most sought after fish in the Gulf and Atlantic, and as such, they're subject to a short open season, usually taking place during the summer months. Luckily, this is the best time to cast for big keeper fish, and there are plenty to go around. On the other hand, species like yellowtail and kubera are up for grabs year round. Sailfish and tuna aren't usually subject to close seasons in Fort Lauderdale, but they are migratory fish, so they won't always be around. For your best shot at sailfish, plan your trip between the months of January and March or September through November. As for tuna, fishing for blackfin stays solid throughout the year, but peaks in early spring and between October and November. Yellowfins are harder to come by, but you could get lucky in December and January. Now that you know what you can catch and when, you're almost ready to get out on the water. The last thing to cover is fishing licenses. If you're fishing with a charter captain on a private or shared charter, there's no need to worry. Your captains will cover licenses for everyone on board. If you're fishing on your own, whether that's from the shore or your own boat, you'll need to buy a license for all anglers between the ages of 16 and 65. You can find detailed price breakdowns and additional info on the different license types available in Florida by checking out our extensive blog article. And that's it, your Fort Lauderdale fishing trip can officially begin. To book the fishing charter that's right for you and the trip you're planning, download the Fishing Booker app. It's available on Google Play and the App Store and allows you to browse the largest selection of fishing charters in Fort Lauderdale, compare prices and amenities, and book fast and easy. Or check us out online at fishingbooker.com to start planning your Fort Lauderdale fishing trip today.